Okay, this tiny little device is an infrared pickup. You can find one in every television set and any other item that has an infrared remote control. We need to put this item onto the board. Notice that each different type has a different pinout, so be careful if you connect this wrong you can burn this little device out in less than a second. In this particular one from Panasonic, although Panasonic does have different pinouts, you've got negative on this side, you've got positive in the middle and signal out on that side. We're now putting this little item onto the miniature breadboard and we're going to connect up the negative side over there to the negative power rail which is over there and I think at this point I'm going to need a tweezers. Okay, I've now found the tweezers so I'm going to put that is the negative connector goes into that tiny little hole there and there and here I'm going to take a little piece of single core wire in red and I'm coiling it up around the small tool, why do I do that? Because it looks nice and it tends to work better and I'm stripping the end off with a small tool there and now I'm connecting it up from the positive supply to the center pin of our little device careful of short circuits, you can damage equipment and this yellow wire is the signal connector which if I remember goes from that side there and it comes down this little LED we don't need so I'm taking it off the breadboard here I'm using orange wire generally black and blue is negative and red is generally positive and signals can be yellow and green and orange and other colors and we're going to connect this over here and down to the pinout connectors. Okay, if we look at our program you'll see over there it says pulse in 9 that's pin 9. So if we look at this row, this header strip row, it's P0, P1, P2, P3, P4, P5. Remember that our piezoelectric speaker is connected on P3 according to this program so that's P4, P5, P6, P7, P8 and P9 we connect over there so what we do is we connect up a USB cable and we press download to download the program to the robot there you'll notice the little dialog box this is a television remote uh, with the Sony television protocol programmed into it on the blue buttons what you will now notice is our workbench is looking a little bit more cluttered than earlier if we point this device at the robot and we use the blue buttons we now have a fully remote controlled robot endless hours for youngsters and a far more stimulating way to learn programming than other ways we hope you've enjoyed this short presentation that's helped you to build your robot you can email us on info at robotscience.co.za if you need any further help We hope that you'll take some time and look at the website www.robotscience and that we can somehow help to make your child's business of learning programming a lot more fun.